In today's video, we'll be exploring the parts and dismantling sequence of a specific type of screw pump used in lubricating oil systems on ships. This positive displacement rotary pump, driven by an electric motor, is a crucial component in ensuring smooth operations. Let's dive in. The screw pump consists of several essential parts, including the coupling, the driving screw, the driven screw, the timing gears, the rubber sealing ring in the drive end, the shaft bushes in the drive end, the oil seal in the drive end of the driving shaft, the shaft bushes in the free end, the rubber sealing ring in the free end, the relief valve, the pump body, the pump discharge side flange, and the pump suction side flanges. Now, let's move on to the dismantling process. We start by removing the coupling guard. Simply remove the securing bolts to gain access to the coupling. Next, remove the fit bolts of the coupling by unscrewing the nuts. This will allow us to separate the coupling from the pump. Now, remove the securing bolts that hold the pump body to the foundation. This step enables us to shift the pump to a suitable working platform. After the securing bolts are removed, Carefully shift the pump to a stable working platform where we can continue the dismantling process. Let's move on to removing the free end pump cover and then take out the securing bolts to expose the internals of the pump. Once the free end pump cover is off, carefully remove the shaft bushes from within the cover. Take your time to ensure a smooth extraction. Now, it's time to remove the coupling. Begin by removing the coupling securing bolt then gently pull out the coupling. Finally, remove the coupling key. Now, let's proceed with removing the drive end cover. Start by removing the securing bolts that hold it in place. Carefully remove the drive end pump cover, revealing the components inside. Similar to the free end cover, now remove the shaft bushes from within the drive end cover with caution. Next, remove the oil seal from the drive end cover. This seal is vital for maintaining the integrity of the pump. With the covers removed, carefully extract the drive shaft and the driven shaft from the pump body. Now, let's remove the sealing rings. Begin by taking out the sealing ring in the drive end of the body, followed by the sealing ring in the free end of the body. Now, let's move on to the dismantling process for the relief valve. Start by removing the securing bolts that hold the relief valve complete with the body. This will allow us to access the internal components. Carefully take out the relief valve from the pump, ensuring a firm grip and proper handling. Now remove the cap located on top of the relief valve, providing access to the valve's internals. Now, remove the securing bolts and nuts of the flange meant for the adjustment screw. Gently remove the adjustment screw, which plays a vital role in regulating the relief valve's operation. With the adjustment screw removed, Carefully detach the flange from the relief valve assembly. Now remove the flange gasket and remove the top spring retainer, revealing the spring and valve disc housed within the relief valve. Carefully extract the spring and then take out the valve disc. And there you have it. We've completed the dismantling process of the screw pump and the relief valve. Remember, during reassembly, follow the reverse order to ensure proper alignment and functionality. We hope you found this video informative and helpful for understanding the dismantling process of a screw pump used in lubricating oil systems on ships. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content.